hello everyone welcome to best t-shirt designs so i am going to start a basic to advanced t-shirt design you can say playlist a series here will be 20 to 30 videos where i will cover basic to advanced but before starting this series i need to talk about something like we need to be clear about the concept of of t-shirt design like why the, it is necessary or and what you can do here so this is what i am going to explain in this video so first step is white t-shirt designs so you you may know that we do t-shirt designs for print on demand but there are many other options like promoting your brand if you are a company or a business owner you may want to promote your business and that's where it comes a t-shirt design like you can gift a t-shirt to your customer and they will wear it in public it will eventually do a marketing for your business or your brand so that's where we need t-shirt designs connection with your audience that means if you are a like if you if, if you have a youtube channel or a facebook fan page or an instagram profile where you do something and people love to watch you love to listen to you then you can sell merchandise to them and they they will love to wear something that is they know of someone so that's where we need t-shirt design and of course print on demand this is a huge sector but we will talk detailed about this later this is also you can do and then of course clothing brand like if you want to start a clothing brand you can start with a t-shirt design we'll explain everything later but these are the types of sector where you need t-shirt designs not only for print on demand so it is a huge a big sector and then next is type of t-shirt designs like we know there are many kind of t-shirt designs and not only these there are also many variations of them but these are just, just the basic so first is typography that means text based design it doesn't have to be very detailed design it doesn't have to be very creative one just place two line together that will become a typography or a text based design and then there is graphic t-shirt design that means we, we use vector or graphics to represent an idea that we can call a graphic t-shirt design then there is minimalist that means very simple very basic designs like a one line text that is minimalist t-shirt design then there are outer color i will show you some examples of this but these are just the categories there are abstract there are art retro vintage business info all these are types of t-shirt design and there are many more not only these we will cover them later so here are some example like this is a text page example keep calm and drink coffee so here the design is only using some text no graphics here no fancy editing here just some text plays line by line and they are using some shadow there but that's let's ignore that so this is called a text based design it doesn't have to be very creative doesn't have to be very cursive or very artistic it can just simple some text it can be simple some text and here is a design like i am showing you for example of a vector based design here we are using some vectors like a skull gun wings flag bullets just to represent this idea so this is you can call a vector based t-shirt design and then this is an example of a retro vintage like you can see some colorful designs like this it 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 looks kind of old because we use the grunge texture to make it look like a old design or a austin worn design so this is called retro vintage design and there are drawing style designs like you have to draw something that if, if you have an idea you need to draw that to make that a graphic for printing on t-shirt so this we can call a drawing t-shirt design this is an example of a watercolor design and you will find everything if you search on google like watercolor t-shirt design retro vintage t-shirt design and here is one more thing that is called a business info t-shirt design that means if you have a company you are not going to print something like this on a t-shirt like not a lion wearing a crown in watercolor you may want to promote your business and that's where it comes like a design like this you can see this is the company logo and the company name and they are just using that information in front and back so if you if you are this company owner if you gift this t-shirt to a customer and if they are wearing this it is basically doing a marketing for you like more and more people getting know about your business and what you do you can add your phone number here so this is called a business info style t-shirt designs we will talk about them later so 
next part is software so which software do you need to start as a t-shirt designer or making a t-shirt design so basically we use adobe illustrator because personally i am working as a freelance graphic designer so i need to maintain the industry standard so that's why i use illustrator and sometimes photoshop but there is another software called ink escape this is really good and this is free so photoshop and illustrator is not free you need to buy their subscription but ink escape is free paint.net is free here is another app called affinity designer or procreate on ipad anyway so any software or app that can produce a 300 dpi transparent png image it doesn't matter if it is illustrator or photoshop or inkscape anything that can produce a 300 dpi this is very important for printing because this is the standard for printing for printing a design we need a 300 ppi that means pixel per inch transparent png image so any software can produce this that can be a software for t-shirt design if you know how to use illustrator or photoshop without getting their license or anything i'm not going to talk about that but you know how what i mean so you can get this easily or if you are not then you can use with inkscape or with paint.net anything you want so the thing is you need to have an app or it, it can be a mobile app also it can be a software or a mobile app that can produce a 300 dp transparent png image that can be your software for t-shirt design so let's talk about selling a t-shirt design like we want to start our t-shirt design journey so what we can where we can sell them so first is you can sell your designs on a stock site that is not a stock this is not share market stock it is called it is micro stock but let me clarify you can sell your designs on adobe stock shutter stock creative fabrica free pick and there are thousands other websites like this where you can just upload your design and it will start getting sell not like you upload a design and you will sell you need to understand how to do that we will talk details about this everything later but let's just for now so there are thousands of stock site micro stock sites where you can upload a t-shirt design and if it is good enough you will get some sales from there and for this you don't need to maintain any kind of like job success score or response rate or any kind of hassle of client nothing you can just if you have one hour of your time you can work for a stock site you can upload them there no extra hassle here so next is print on demand you can make a t-shirt design and you can upload them on march by amazon t spring red bubble t public Gearlands, and there are thousands other print on demand site you can upload your design on any of them and if that design is good enough you will get some sales of course there needs some more work to do like researching your tag title we will talk about that later so you can do a stock site you can do print on demand then comes my part you can work as a freelance t-shirt designer like there are many websites like fiverr upwork freelancer people per hour many other thousands of freelancing website where you can work as a freelance t-shirt designer like not everyone is a designer so whoever is doing stock site or print on demand they will need designs especially print on demand whoever is doing good there they are not designer most of the time so they hire designers and where they go they go to fiber up or freelancer or sites like this so you can work for someone else as a t-shirt designer you will make their t-shirt design and they will pay you a amount here so these are the option you can sell or you can work as a t-shirt designer and earn money from this i will cover each and every one them of them so that was the that was the thing i wanted to share with you and here is some basic guide like i get these questions more and more like wh wh what is the artboard size so artboard size is 4500 into 5400 now this is not exactly you have to take this one but this is the amazon standard that means if you or your client is going to upload that design on march by amazon then you have to make your design in this size and if you are making your design in this size it will automatically fit in other print on demand marketplaces but you can make it smaller too like not 4500 you can make it 2500 into 3000 you can even make it okay let's not talk about that so you can even make it in 15 inch by 18 inch whatever size you want but this is the standard of march by amazon so i usually work in this size one more thing i get a question that is 
why is color mode rgb the color mode must be rgb if you are going to use print on demand that means if you are going to upload that png image to any print on demand or if you are working for someone they are going to upload this then the color mode must be rgb and if you are going to print it manually like with your local printer or your printing machine then you can work in cmyk so in marketplaces like fiber upwork we get both kind of jobs where client mentioned that he need a cmyk design and we start with a cmy cardboard and the most important part is <coughs> of course 300 dpi sorry so 300 dpi it must be 300 dpi png then it will perfectly fit on any print on demand side and of course for stock sites too and this is the most important part of this video so before starting a design we need to keep in mind something first of all is audience like who is going to buy this design if i am going to make a design this is very good very detailed work but i don't know who will buy this then there is no there is no meaning of making a detailed design so first step is finding your audience or your buyer so you have to keep in mind who is going to buy this like if you are going to make a coffee design then you need to understand who is going to buy this so it can a female can buy a coffee design a male can buy a coffee design or both can buy a coffee related design so that is your buyer so you have to think about who is going to buy my design if you are going to make a biker design then you have to keep in mind that there are not very girls not lot of girls who do biker bikes or who ride bikes so a biker design is mainly for males so you have to choose your font your color according to that that means first step is keeping your buyers in mind who is going to buy your design and you are going to start your design according to them then shirt color i see this is a mistake many times i see people posting in my group you don't know which color shirt you are going to, this design is going to be printed and then you start your design with a random color then you try to change the shirt color to fit your design but that is wrong first step is you need to choose your buyer so if your buyer is female then you have to keep in mind that what is going to be the shirt color so if your buyer is female then you can keep in mind that females like like they like light color shirt they like yellow pink or kind of blue color shirt light blue or sky blue color shirt so i will take my color design color according to that so i am if you have if i am going to make a design for pink shirt then i will try to make it kind of black it will look good on pink or maybe i'll try to make it white but i will not i will not use any kind of pink in my design because that can be invisible on a pink shirt so that is really important first step is keep your buyer in mind then choose the shirt color then select your color according to that and then is niche color so what is niche niche is the topic you are making designs on i will talk about this later so if i am making a design for coffee lovers then coffee is my niche and then which color i will pick color according to my niche like if you search like coffee t-shirt design you will find people using brown or coffee color for coffee color designs for coffee t-shirt design that means that color is the color of the coffee can be your color of your design that is very important and then message this is the main part of a design because design does not sell message sales if your design is getting sales someone is buying your design they are not buying it as for it is a very good design they are buying it because the message is very good the message is very related to them that means the people who buy t-shirt they are not designers like us they don't know who, which one is a good design which one is a bad design they just know whatever this design is saying is this relevant to me is this something i can connect with my real life then they buy this that means the message is very important so whenever you are making a design keep in mind the message must be good i will talk about this how to find good messages and then the last is graphics graphics is not very important but if you are going to start if you are going to make a design and it needs to use some graphics then you can use some graphics in your design otherwise it is not really important like for this design if i say so for making a design like this these wings gun skull it it needs to be there because it represent the veteran represent the hardness or the theme here the pain and the suffering of veterans or 
hardness of a soldier life that is represented by this so it can be used here but if i do not use them if i make it a simple plain design like this it is also good that simple plain design is also good it doesn't need to be using vector every time but if you can use a vector in a good way to represent a message that is always good so that's it for this thing so you have to keep in mind these things this is the first step of starting a t-shirt design and then if you have these answers in your mind then start a design and make anything you want it will sell so that's it for today's video guys i hope it will help you understand this process i will cover every single topic here like this stock site print on demand everything and i will make some very basic to very advanced designs in this playlist you will find them in my channel so see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you for watching